Hello everyone, welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. I hope you all are fine and keeping yourself safe in this period. So in the reading today, we're going to look into what are the next big changes coming into your life. There are three piles over here. This is the first pile, the yellow bead. The second pile, the red bead. And the third pile, the green bead. So please take a moment, meditate on the cards and use your intuition to choose the pile. If you want, you could also pause the video to meditate on the cards. All right. And if you're ready, let's move to the first pile, the yellow bead. Welcome pile one, all those have chosen the yellow bead. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into what are the next big changes coming to your life. All right. Okay, so first we have spiritual teacher, wisdom, angel of balance, door to spirit, eight of swords, six of pentacles, sensitivity and light. This here. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Right, power one. Okay, so let's first see where you are right now. I feel that this is your you right now where you feel very stuck, you feel very restricted where you currently are. You're not able to find the way out. You're not able to see the bigger picture over here. So you could be going around doing your daily things, but you know there is something bigger there for you, but you don't know what it is. You don't know where to find it. It seems to be like very, very restrictive over here. A lot of you I also feel have been asking your angels, your guides to help you because you could be stuck in a particular situation really badly here where you just don't know how to move forward from this. It could be you're stuck in a job you don't like, in a relationship um, which could be quite toxic or you just feel quite restrictive, okay? You just feel like you don't know what to do with your life. So it's a very closed off feeling I'm getting from this. But Pawan, things are going to change for you. They are going to change massively for you. I feel that you've been working on this. You've been working on um, increasing your consciousness level to different ways because I feel that a lot of you watching this are psychics and mediums and you're trying to develop this side of yours where maybe you've been um, meditating more, you've been listening more to um, spiritual videos, but there is something where you are opening yourself up, you're opening for your spirits to intervene in your life and to show you the way. And because you'll be opening the doors to them or you are in the process of opening the doors to them, major, major changes are going to come into your life. And I feel that spirit is going to enter your life very soon. Well, of course, they are in the life, but here where you'll be consciously aware of it, where they'll be entering your life, you'll be able to hear them and see them more clearly. Okay, um, but I also feel along with this, is along with seeing spirits, some of you could be seeing other things as well, which maybe um, you're not 100% ready for, but when you do, you'll get accustomed to it and you'll know um, how to move about things, all right? So it's very important for you when you're opening yourself up to spirits, you must also ground yourself and protect yourself, all right? Please don't forget this if you are working towards this. A major shift coming up is your spiritual awakening, power one. This is very, very strong coming up here. So a lot of you, maybe you've already been having like visions, but that could be in your dreams where you're not actually seeing or hearing things with your open eyes. But here with your spiritual awakening, can you see her eyes are open here as well? 
right? You'll be seeing and hearing things with your eyes open. So it is going to be a major, major shift here happening in your life. It's going to be a massive step up. And this is because you have started opening yourself up. If you've not, if you're still in the restrictive energy, you will be opening yourself up here to spirits, I see. And because of all this intervention now, you know, you're relaxing yourself a bit more and it's going to be a very big shift for you, Power One. So you have to be kind of prepared for this. Um, we have the sensitivity. So you probably could already be um, quite sensitive right now. Maybe not a lot, but your sensitivity is going to go to another level. Okay, like I said, you could start seeing things, hearing things, feeling things. And all these cards here, we also have a spiritual card here. So it's a, going to be a very, very big shift for you. Um, I do also see that some of you have already had a spiritual awakening in the past and therefore you are more receptive to it right now. Okay, but yes, you are going to be much more sensitive. I see you becoming much more spiritual actually. If you've always just had this intention, if you find that spirituality is the way for you to move forward, to come out of the stuck situation and that is right for you. Okay, so it's major, major spiritual changes happening in your life. And some of you could be, you know, probably joining some classes or something because like I said, you need to protect yourself. You need to ground yourself. So maybe you're not sure how to do this. You'll be finding um, your mentors or you could be doing some online courses over here to learn more about spirituality. You could be um, learning more tarot classes or Reiki healing, any of that sort here. But I see you going through some particular classes here. And once you have gone through spiritual awakening, once you have understood what you've been through and you've um, untied from where you are right now, some of you could also land up being a spiritual teacher here yourself. Okay, but for a lot of you, I do feel that you are going to do a lot of research. You are going to go through a um, few courses here to help yourself to go through this awakening process. And while you're doing all that, I feel that one day, just unknowingly, you will have this big shift this major awakening coming into your life. This is coming in very, very, very strongly for you, Pal One. I wouldn't underestimate this, um, the spiritual awakening which will be happening in your life, okay? Now, the other major shift coming here is I do feel that for um, some of you here, you could be moving on your own. So if you've been living with your family, I see you moving away and kind of finding your own space because I feel that um, a lot of you here are, you know, you're feeling a bit trapped. You're feeling a bit suffocated where you currently are. It's not necessarily that, you know, um, anyone is treating you badly as well. If you're living with your parents as well, it's not like they're treating you badly at all. But it's like you want a sense of freedom. I feel that you want to live life on your own. You want a sense of freedom within you. So for some of you, you could be moving away here from your family. And if you are in a toxic connection as well, in a toxic relationship as well, I see you moving away from that and going on your own. But where you've been very fearful in the past, things are going to be very different now because of all the spiritual awareness, because of the strength which you'll be getting to this um through all this awakening and sensitivity, that is going to help you to move forward in a very, very positive manner. Okay, so yes, there is um, going to be a movement for you out here. And you could be living on your own for a while before you actually um, encounter with someone else again, but you are going to be very peaceful. So you're not going to feel, um, you're not going to feel very lonely. And spirits are going to be with you. They are going to help you and support you throughout this process. So with this, I do feel that you are going to get the strength to break the ties over here. Okay, so it is going to be quite major shifts, but you are still going to feel very balanced. Pawan, this is so beautiful. In spite of major shifts happening in your life within you, you are still going to feel very, very balanced. It's not like the tower card where in spite of things shifting, your life is going to be up and down. 
externally yes but internally you are going to feel very very balanced over here okay so um even with six of pentacles is again showing you a card of balance it's an um card of give and take it's a card of equal give and take over here so um i do see you actually supporting many people once you come out of your own situation once you come out of this um this energy of yourself feeling stuck you are going to know how to break free and i see that you are going to assist other people as well in that process so where you are the student right now you are going to be the teacher very very soon okay it's not going to take long for you because you are quite sensitive yourself you are quite psychic as well yourself i see a lot of you being in that you know um psychic that spirituality which you're engrossed in and you just need a little bit more help from the spirits to help you break free and once you break free your confidence level is going to um just go in a different dimension and that confidence level is going to help you to be a teacher yourself so some of you if you've already broken free from the situation okay if you've already gone through that process you could directly go into a teacher position but some of you who are still feeling very very stuck spirits are going to give you this courage and the strength to break free to move forward right and to be a student first and then you are going to land up being the teacher so yep it is going to be very big awakening now i also feel you for a lot of you that i don't see someone else here coming here to rescue you you are going to be rescuing yourself here okay you are going to bring the balance here in your life on your own so it could also be where what you're going through right now you are actually going through the situation on your own there isn't anyone else helping you but of course there could be some people who could be giving you that idea who could just show you the door right but you would be taking the step here to break free and to enter the door on your own let's have a look with this is that what initial comes up for important people in your life maybe this will help you as well to know so let's see the initial of the important people who will help you in this journey who will assist you in this journey okay so we have here j l y T. Okay, and we have P. Okay, so these initial of the people would be would play an important role in your life. They could be someone in your life right now. They could be one of the um toxic person you're dealing with and it could also be someone who's going to help you to come out of the situation. It's going to give you some ideas and assist you in this process. So these initial could be quite um important for you. Right, Power One, that's beautiful. I hope you resonate with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I am offering a personal tarot and soul reading at the moment. So if you'd like to request one, you can find my details in the description below. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Welcome, Pal Two, all those who've chosen the red bead. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into what major changes are coming next in your life all right so first we have here artist nutrition man holding a heart yin and yang temperance ace of swords sacral chakra and financial and material changes okay i'll just tune into the energy here right pile two okay it looks like a very romantic spread here for a lot of you let's start here first with yin and yang Pile two. So those of you who are looking for love, your soulmate or twin flame is going to enter your life very, very, very soon. 
okay? This is for those of you who are single, who've not met your soulmate or twin flame. So this is a very strong message here coming for you. And for those of you who are in this connection, but you're probably in separation here from your person, I see that there is going to be a communication coming in for you and it's going to be a very beautiful flow of communication. Your connection is going to move you to the next level. Okay, I see that coming up for you, all those who are, you know, um, who are especially in this twin flame connection, but who could be in separation from them. A communication would be coming in for you and it's going to be very beautiful. We have this... Um, Oh. temperance here which is this flow of communication which will be happening all right so it's going to be extremely fruitful and beautiful and i do feel that it is going to ascend here to the next level and even for those of you who are going to meet your person for the first time your communication with this person is going to be so easy and you just don't won't need to make that extra effort in order to have this, you know, um, conversation with them. Things are just going to flow for the two of you and it's going to move so, so quickly here. Right, so there's a lot of romantic side here. Some of you could also be getting proposed. Okay, I see that, especially if um, you are with a partner here. So again, for all of you, I feel that things are moving forward. I don't see that moving backwards so um if you've not met someone here you are going to meet someone okay and if you've been in no communication or in separation you are going to hear from your person and those of you who are already in communication with your person everything is going fine your person here would be proposing you really soon right there is going to be an exchange here of heart where you both be offering your hearts here to each other so it's a very strong energy um, coming up here for you pile two but I see it a lot from a romantic perspective yes there are changes in your career as well coming up but very strongly here for your love life there are major major changes happening and it's happening here for the good okay ace of swords now with this I feel that you would be getting a very um it's a brand new business idea, a brand new career opportunity here. I'm seeing this more from um, a career perspective. Because we also have your financial and material changes coming up in your life. So you are going to get a new opportunity, but I do feel more from an idea perspective. So if you're thinking of going self-employed, if you're thinking of starting something on your own, very soon this big idea is going to like pop in your head. Okay, and you are going to take action as well towards it. This is going to um, change your life drastically. This one idea here is going to just change things around for you. And some of you, I feel, would be a little bit scared of that. So you'll be a little bit scared of, um, you know, putting everything aside and just concentrating on this um, idea of yours. So what you would potentially be doing is... Um, implementing this idea at the same time carrying on with the other task you're doing so this is going to make you feel a little bit more stressful because you are going to put your energy in very very different things here so one side yes of course your romantic side is there but i won't talk about that in this so in this um, some of you could be working for a company for someone but you get this beautiful idea and you want to work on that as well so you'll also be putting your um, hands in that opportunity but this is just going to make you feel like you are all over and it could be a little bit stressful I feel for um, quite a few of you watching so what you need to do is actually decide what you really really want and then stick to one thing because um, for you I feel if you put your hand in so many things it kind of makes you feel very drained out so you need to put your focus and full attention on one project so that is going to help you to energize and channel your energy well, okay? So you are going to put yourself here in many, many different things. That's because maybe you're still not sure what you want to do. But once you are sure what you want to do, it's recommended for you to move into one, just one place here. Yeah? 
Okay, and then we have your artist. Okay, that is probably why where you are quite, um, you are going to get a creative idea and you would want to, you're quite passionate about that. So you want to make your creativity into your career. Now, um, this is why maybe you're not 100% sure because maybe this um, creative side of you doesn't really fetch that much money as how much your um, current job would. So um, it's making you feel a bit stressful. So one side, you want to do something which you enjoy and the other side, you know, things are bringing in more um, stability. So you are going to feel a little bit torn when it comes to your career. Um, and maybe then you would need to like recheck whether your passion, do you want to just leave it as your passion or do you want to actually make it as your career? So it's going to be a decision which you would need to make. And the sooner you make it, the better it's going to be for you because you are going to feel very stretched um, from that perspective. Okay. So yes, of course, one major change is you would, you are going to be very, very sure here about your career, what you want to do and from your romantic side. And I see here nutrition. So definitely this is coming up very strongly as a major change in your life where you are going to be very health conscious. You are going to be working on your health. Some of you have, I feel, already started with this where you are concentrating more on your health right now. You could be exercising more. You could be more conscious of what you're taking in um, in your body, right? So this is going to be a major change because with this, I see you being more confident in yourself. So it is going to change you internally as well, quite a lot. And you are going to notice like the difference in your skin, the way you're going to glow. There is going to be um, changes within you and externally as well in your body, which you'll be able to notice. And that is going to increase your confidence level. So yes, health, your body is going to be a major, major changer in your life. If you've not been looking after yourself since a while, you are going to surprise yourself here with this. And you are going to start listening to your intuition much more. Um, I see you listening a lot because you are right now someone here who maybe are more on the practical side where you like to run through pros and cons and all that aspects. But you are going to see a change in that and I see that a lot of you watching are going to start tuning in more into your intuitive energy here, okay? And this is actually going to help you. Once you realize that this is benefiting you, that's when you are going to go a little bit more deeper into it and you are going to start using this in your career, in your relationship and that's why it's going to affect your health as well because a lot of you, I feel you're going to realize that when you start, um, you know, intaking a particular type of food, you might start feeling a little funny about certain things. Some of you could be allergic to certain aspects and you are going to start feeling it. So once you feel it, that's when you are going to make those changes in your life. So I feel that a lot of you where you are going to make these changes, it's all going to be based on your intuition. Your intuition is going to be like a key factor here in your life. And let's see now, okay, I'm going to pick up some initials of certain people in your life and you would recognize them to see um, who are they and how are they important in your life. This initial could come up for some of you for your future soulmate or twin flame. It could come up of your um, employer. Yeah, just take how it resonates here. Okay, let's see what comes up here for you. Okay, so we have your... S, M, D, O, and V. So the initial of these people could be quite important in your life and quite significant in your life. And they would be a part of the process of this major change which would happen in your life. All right, pal two, I hope you resonated with this. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I am offering a personal tarot and soul reading at the moment. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details in the description below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.
Welcome, Paltry, all those who have chosen the green bead. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. In today's reading, we're going to look into what major changes are coming next in your life. All right. So first we have here, you're on the right path. Light and love. Healer of the ages. Journey. Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Solar Plexus Chakra, and Memories of Love. Okay, I'll just tune into the energy here. Just moves in. Right, pile three. First of all, this has come up as you are on the right path. So it is a validation here from your angels, from your spirit guides, that whatever you're doing right now, you are on the right path. So um, some of you are maybe not sure or you were not sure maybe what career you're thinking about or what um, choices in life you're thinking about. They are correct. They're trying to guide you here to tell you that, yes, that is meant for you. If you're thinking right now of a particular career, which maybe you're still not sure about, maybe it's more of a um, light worker, it's more of a healer. So you're not 100% sure if it's meant for you or not. So they want to tell you that, yes, it is. If you're not sure whether you want to stay in a connection, but you feel like leaving, they want to tell you, yes, that's right. If you want to move from where you are right now, from a toxic place, and you really want to make that move, they want to tell you, yes, it's correct. So whatever thing you're confused about, you want to take that step. It's a validation, a strong one here from spirit to say you are on the right path. You might, it might not seem like right now, Okay, because, you know, the roads here could be quite dark. Maybe you don't have many people supporting you in what you're thinking or what you want to do. And it's still here, you know, where it's a bit dark. It's not a daylight energy. It's not able to see things very clearly. So you're not sure if it's meant for you or not. But it is meant for you, Paltry. It is meant for you. So a major shift coming is that you are going to go through this process, whatever you're thinking about, if it comes up to your career, if it comes up to a new relationship, which you're thinking, you are going to go on a brand new journey. Your life is going to change completely, Paltry. Your life is not going to be the same anymore, the way it used to be. It's just going to change completely. You're going to move from one world to the next. The step which you're going to take now, it's going to change your world. Some of you could also be relocating I see with this, there could be relocation, there could be travel involved, but you are going to move to a new place, a new direction over here. Strongly a relocating card here. And everything is going to be new in your life. It could be a new career, a new relationship, because we have here two cards here off the page. The page is a card of, of you know, where you're starting off something. It's not a knight or the king where it's already established. So you could be putting your foot forward in a brand new place with a new job, a new connection. You could meet someone new in your life. So it's everything new here. It's going to be a new career for you, right? A new career is going to, um, you're going to start a new career in your life. And um, from a relationship perspective as well, I feel that you are going to meet someone new. So um, your past is going to be your past right now. You are moving to a new cycle of your life where just everything is going to be different. It's going to be a brand new life for you. I don't feel that things are going to be the same for you, Paltry, because we also have your memories of love. So with this, I feel that your past, everything in your past is going to stay as your past. Um, there were beautiful memories, of course, involved in it, and you are going to cherish those memories. You've learned so much from them. You've gained so much from it. You've shared happiness and sorrow. 
and you are going to keep them as memories in your heart but a fresh a brand new life there is waiting out for you which you've always wanted which you've always dreamt of yes i do feel that there is a pain as well attached to the past so it could be where you know certain people you don't want to leave behind or it could be where you're working as well right now you could be attached to some of your colleagues there is some sort of attachment over here but you are going to overcome it because your dream is much more stronger here than these attachments where you want to go what you want to be that is going to overshadow everything here from your past okay so it is pretty intense over here where it's just going to be brand new but you are going to be very excited for it all right it's just um it's just something which you've always wanted and i feel that where you are right now you're not able to get that you need to make this big shift in your life in order to achieve what you want to achieve right if you um if you're looking for a particular career for example if you're looking for a hollywood career or something you need to move over there in order to go to all the auditions right it could be where you're living right now you don't have all the facilities it could be where um, if you want to work in this major bank, it might not be where you reside right now. You need to go into this, you know, big city where you have more opportunities and your opportunities then is going to be one after the other. I also feel like you would be attracting a new love in your life. There would be someone who would be very, very interested in you. So yeah, it's an opportunity here from all perspectives. And we have here light and love. You are quite um, a soft soul, I feel. You want everything to be done peacefully. I don't think you really like confrontations. And that's the reason, though, now why you've probably taken a bit too much. So you want to peacefully move away. You want to peacefully do things which you want to do. And you have so much of love within you, so much. And it's just... Oh, I'm just getting a very soft energy from you very soft you are like you have so much of love within you you have so much you can offer to people i feel that um for some of you people have not really seen you for who you truly are and that's why you feel like you know you want to move ahead you want to go where you're actually being recognized for who you are and spirit here wants to tell you that you will be you are going to be recognized here because you are on the right path. What you're truly feeling, you know, you know what you want. You know how to get it. You know it. But maybe there has been the sort of, you know, um, a little bit fear of the unknown. That could have been stopping you. And <clears throat> pile three, I feel that you are going to be healed. This is going to be major, major coming to your life. You are going to be healing your heart. As I felt that with your past, there are wounds involved in it. So there is certain things which are really hurting you. Could be where in a relationship you've been in that was quite painful or it's been painful losing someone in your life or moving away from someone. There is something here which you're carrying within you. And this major change happening is this healing. Okay, with your move, with the major changes one after the other which will happen in your life that will heal your heart as well you are going to be excited about life again it's the page here i feel it's a card of excitement as well it's like a child you know it's a childlike energy happening and which is going to help to heal you it's going to help to heal your heart and you will be radiating again your love from the heart maybe right now you don't feel you're in that position to shower your love to someone because you yourself are feeling so wounded but once you're able to heal yourself you're going to help others as well you'll be radiating your love which is going to help other people heal so yeah it's quite major in here and then we also have here the solar plexus chakra okay it's your gut instincts you are having very very strong instincts right now okay it's like you know where you want to go you're being pulled in a particular direction and you feel like it's like i can't stop myself something is really pulling me towards that 
it's your instinct, your gut here trying to tell you what you need to do. And it's your spirit here trying to work with you. Well, people work in different ways. Spirits work with different people in different ways. Sometimes they put ideas in your mind, but for you, it's more like a gut instinct here, which I'm getting, where you are feeling that strong intuition, what you want to do, and you're getting so pulled. You're getting pulled to a particular direction. You don't know whether it's good for you or not. You don't know if it's right for you or not, but you just feel like moving in that path, right? It's because you are being guided. You are being guided in that particular direction. Let's see what um, initial comes up here for the people who are going to be um, influencing these major changes in your life and could, who could also be potentially a part of your life. They could be your new employer. It could be your new love interest. It could be someone you are with right now. Just take how it resonates, all right? So what comes up? All right, this fell off on their own and these. So we have your T. A. It's really funny. I feel there's a star as well where I do feel you'd be saying goodbye to certain um, people in your life, especially those who you feel you're not meant to be with them. We have your F. X. X. Could be one of your X here you're dealing with. Okay. P and E. So take how it fits for you here, Pile Tree. I'm sure that you already know the answer, I feel, for this. All right, Pile Tree, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I am offering a personal tarot and soul reading at the moment. If you'd like to request one, you can find my details below. Thank you so much. Goodbye.